Next up, La Villa Bakery in Boca Raton. This one is filled with custard, sweet bread with sugar. And this is this vanilla cookies, coconut, with cold concha. This is uh, with vanilla on the top. That one says, and this with chocolate. This one is guava and cheese. This one is a uh, biscuit. It's not too sweet, but it's really good. I love this. This is pineapple muffin, and this is uh, vanilla muffin with this tea. I don't know how to, how to explain this, but it's good too. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything is so good. This one is plant. This one oh, is okay. uh, jello. Uh, this is uh, pecan. How do you say pecan? Pecan? Uh, pina colada? No, pecan. Pecan? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, pistachio and a strawberry. Either one is. All right, that's what we got. Let's try it out. We just went to La Villa Bakery. So let's try this stuff out. Oh, you know that uh, the Spanish people, they just like black people. They get the plastic bag. <laughs> you don't get the all the fancy cardboard stuff. Like, listen, man, our stuff good. Just just get it and go. It's good. It's good enough. So this is flan, flan jello. jello. See the bottom of the, the syrup at the bottom? Flan jello. Mm -hmm. Let's see. decent yeah. yeah tastes just like this not too sweet i like this because it's not too sweet it's light it don't make you feel like you're eating a huge dessert it's egg based obviously but they got like some good milk in it it tastes like milk it's like jello-y milk and it's light it's like a milkshake like a light milkshake i've never had flan like this before you can tell they make this their own way in-house La Villa Bakery, y'all flying out. I'm actually going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's not too sweet. You're not going to get diabetes from it. You're not going to get a crash where you feel like you, you ate too much. It's light. It's something you could literally eat and go. The lightest flan I ever had. You can literally push it up against the roof of your mouth and it'll break down. Yeah, I've had flan before where I just feel like I'm just literally like eating a bowl of sugar. So most flans are sugary. This is pretty damn good. I ain't going to lie. Next up, there's some type of Mexican bread. You oh. said that it was a native Mexican dessert. Yeah, they said it's some type of native Mexican dessert. If you are Mexican, you know what this is, let us know in the comments. Um, but that's what we got next. Now this big ass thing, only $1.40. That's it. Another thing I noticed about this too, is um, their vanilla is yellow. So I don't know how vanilla is naturally made, but I know a lot of times they strip color out of anything and make you think it's normally white. They do that with rice. Sugar. Man. Yeah, they strip color out of it usually, make you think it's white. Let's see. Mm. It's like cocoa bread, man, with sugar. If y'all ever been to a, the Jamaican spots and got cocoa bread, it's like cocoa bread. They put a nice um, cream on top, but it's dry where it's not it's like, like a powder. Yeah, it's like a powder, but not really a powder. I don't know, man. This place is unique. Yeah, <laughs> I've never good. seen nothing like this. Like the way that this is made on top. And the bread is sweet. Real fluffy. See the air bubbles on the inside? Fluffy. Mm. So Dunkin' Donuts? Now I'm mad. Because Dunkin' Donuts been cheating us all this time. Dunkin' Donuts been giving us processed shit. This right here? This right here? Man, this authentic. Hey, man, y'all on point. This bread right here, 8.5, bro. None of their stuff is too sweet. They, they've been on point with sugar the whole time. You can eat this with some ice cream if you want. You eat, just eat this with coffee in the morning. I'm two for two so far, Lavila. All right, next up, guava and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the outside is like a, a croissant type of bread. It got layers of bread to it, as you can see. See all the layers? It has layers of bread to it, like a croissant. It's flaky. On top, they can put like, um, it's like some type of sugar on top, right there. Let's, let's break this down in the middle and see what it look like. Slowly. That's what the inside look like. And it don't got too much um, cream on the inside. This reminds me of a toasted strudel. When you look at it, I like a toaster screw. Wow. 
guava and cheese. Mm. Everything we ate so far is flaky. <laughs> you bite into it, you bite into it, it's crumbs all over the car. That's what I'm talking about. Because usually when you eat something that's old, no crumbs come out of that shit. It's like, it's like biting into an apple. <laughs> like when you go to Dunkin' Donuts and you bite into a donut, you're not going to see any crumbs come off of it or anything like that. Uh, for this, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. This is good. Now, they got a variety of stuff here y'all can come try. Um, they got flan. They got pistachio jello. They got pecan jello. Um, strawberry. Strawberry jello. All types of banana, donuts. Yeah. All types of stuffed donuts. Y'all saw from uh, what we showed you. I'm talking about rows and rows of, of uh, baked breads, baked goods. Only $1.40 each. The, the flan did cost us four bucks, so that was half of the bill, but everything else is like $1.50. I respect places like this because this type of place you can come to. And if you low on money, you come with five bucks, you're going to walk away with a hefty bag. Last up is it's like a frosted stuffed donut with vanilla. Let's see, let's see that? What's that? Is that the fingerprints? The bread itself, fluffy. We used to eat donuts from Dunkin' Donuts, so to us, true. Dunkin' Donuts not usually fluffy. Yeah. But I think this is how donuts supposed to be because it's yeah, that's what it's I'm saying. Good. Look, it's airy, yeah. So the bread itself is good. Let me get some of that cream. Some of that uh, let me get some of that cream and that, that vanilla cream. This is a donut. <laughs> yo, they, they authentic here, yo. This type of place you end up coming to, and you're probably gonna be a repeat customer, more than likely, coming to a place like this. I can taste the culture. You can tell somebody somebody's abuela is in the back. That's that's the right Spanish word, abuela. You know somebody's abuela is in the back cooking this up. You tell you put love into it. Even when a woman's describing it, she took her time. Listen, this is, this is this, this is this, this is this, this is this. You know, she probably the one that was cooking it, but she ain't lying. Everything is good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, man. Um, I mean, look at my pants, bro. Like, that's not, look at, look at that. Just from taking a few bites. Just from taking a few bites. Uh, you can't go wrong with uh, La Villa, La Villa Bakery. La Villa. <laughs> it's La Villa Bakery. Oh! It's La Villa, technically. Yeah, overall, La Villa Bakery, 9 out of 10. <laughs> oh, it's definitely worth it. This is worth it. You gonna, you come in with 5 bucks, bro. You you good for breakfast. Everything so far is light. It has light sugar in it, and it's cooked to perfection. They, cook, they bake their stuff daily here. Daily. So it's a good spot to check out. Don't waste your money at Dunkin' Donuts. My old ass donuts. It's gonna get that's heavy as hell. Come here, dollar forty. Homemade goods, baked every day. They're not some big ass chain restaurant for processed stuff. Oh, check they do sell coffee. It'll be a restaurant.